Hi, Vanner Fanner family, and welcome to December's Mental Health Monday. So for this month's Mental Health Monday, we're just going to talk about Wusa. <laughs> Zen, relaxation, um, me time, whatever you choose to call it, that's fine. The first thing I want to say is I am still in my pajamas at 1130 in the morning. Today is going to be a chill day for me, <clears throat> a wusa day, a reconnect day, a little bit of work, but for the most part, I am just chilling in PJs all freaking day. Don't let anyone tell you that pajama day all day cannot happen when living van life because I do it quite often. I might not be able to afford manis and petties. I might not be able to afford massages on a weekly basis, but I try my best, try my best to have pajama day all day at least twice a month, if not once a week. Harder to accomplish that now while working, but at least twice a month, I'm going to have at least two days off in a month or at least a half of a day. So I'm going to make it my pajama day or pajama hours. <laughs> Once I'm up out of the bed, the bed is made and I don't rush to get dressed. That's going to be considered my me time. I've got on my nice warm socks, my little cooktop going with a little bit of heat and I am cozy watching the tablet here on my little table, chilling out. And this is one of those times that I just need to recharge. I'm parked at a local park. The sun is shiny. My panel's getting sun. I've got my inverter on. I'm charging my tablet. I've got some other um, little power packs charging. Um, so yeah, I'm just enjoying it. I'm sitting not under any trees so I can get as much sun in the windows that I do have open. My windshield, my two front windows aren't covered, and this side window isn't covered. All my other windows are pretty much permanently covered. So I've got all the sun streaming in as best as I can, letting in all that sunshine to warm up the inside of the van, as well as my cooktop is on really low. I mean, it is still cold out. It is the end of December. So I just wanted to make that clear. The other thing I want to make clear before I start talking is I am not a medical professional. Warning, 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 <laughs> warning, warning. This is only peer support. This is only peer support. I can only speak from my mental health journey. You can only speak from your mental health journey. And if you are a medical professional and you want to sprinkle some knowledge into the comments, please do so graciously and kindly and know that we are peers supporting peers here. This is not meant to be anything medical at all. Thank you. So again, you have to take time for yourself, even if it's just once a month. Everybody has time that they can take for themselves. You're just not carving it out or you're just not making good use of the time that you already have that you could be using for yourself. So if you are an early riser and you can get up 20 extra minutes early once a week or twice a week to spend that 20 minutes doing something for yourself, do so. If you're a night owl, can you put down the TV remote and turn off the TV or put down the book or whatever it is you're doing that's keeping you up that extra 20 minutes to an hour and maybe do something specifically for yourself that's calming and relaxing before going to bed? Probably. So figure out where you can carve out 20 minutes to an hour or a whole day if possible for yourself. Not doing anything housework related um, or... Um, mentally taxing. Sometimes we do so much work around the house, so much mental problem solving that we just need one day where we're doing nothing. If that's catching up with Netflix shows, if that's binge watching um, a YouTube channel, um, you know, five, 10 videos in a row, so be it. 
I mean, just take 20 minutes to an hour or a whole day for yourself at least once a month. You have to. If you don't, you will go crazy. So um, today is my pajama day, and I haven't had a pajama day since being back in the van. So that's been just over a month now. I've been hitting the ground running, doing something pretty much every day. So this is my first pajama day in the van since being back in the van beginning of November. And I'm very happy and excited, even though I am shooting this video. So that is my little bit of work. And even though I do have to do some stuff for my actual full-time job, that is a little bit of work. But in the grand scheme of things, it's just a small amount of my day. I'm still going to be able to do those things while I'm in my pajamas and while I'm sitting here at this park until it gets dark at 430 tonight. So I'm perfectly fine. I've got four and a half hours to do whatever I want in this van within reason. And so I'm taking that time. I reached out to a dear friend through text message and we text messaged this morning. I, again, I'm catching up on some Netflix stuff and my um, uh, Hulu um, shows that I've been missing out on. That's the thing I'm stressing in this video. Carve out your me time within your normal day where you can how you can and I'm not even going to say if you can because you can because if you can watch tv if you can goof off on the computer and internet and social media then you definitely have time for yourself so everybody does it everybody has somewhere they're wasting time they could be doing something for themselves whether that's cutting your toenails and soaking your feet in epsom salt so be it do it for yourself whether that's filing your nails down, pushing back your cuticles, and slapping a coat of polish on, fine. Do it. Do it while you play some music in the background. Dance. I have had dance parties in this van. Now that I have a high top, I did it in Cardinal without it. I did it in the minivan. I just sat down and did it. I have turned music on as loud without being obnoxious at the park and just danced in here for 10 whole minutes straight, listening to a bunch of different little songs, just stopping the songs and going to my next favorite song and just doing a minute or two of each song that I really love for 10 minutes straight just to release some stress. And that's it. So figure out how you can have your me time, your wusa, your zen, whether that's going to be burning some sage and chanting, whether that's taking some time for prayer and meditation or prayer or meditation, whatever it is you do to help center yourself, to help cleanse your thoughts, to make yourself just feel so much better and happier. I don't care if you go to the gym and run on the treadmill real fast for 30 minutes and just sweat it out. Whatever you need to do for you to get your mind, body, and soul right, do it. Let me know in the comments what you do to get your wusa zen or mental health together for a me day. And let's keep the conversation going. And I'll see you next time. Mwah! Check out the journey from day one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Get some Vanner gear. And for exclusive content, check out Patreon. Thanks for watching.